and I'm putting you in here, and then we'll we'll deal with that in the future. Part of the benefit of having so many chests is that I can just kind of throw a whole bunch of garbage in one, and then we're good to go. You know, you know. All right, let's uh, let's get going uh, to the quarry, and we sleep. Let's give us a day to mine iron. We won't get stuff done before Sunday in terms of getting any more things into the church. But if I spend this time getting the iron, I think we'll we'll be thankful for it later, I guess is what it really comes down to. So refreshed. So refreshed. Okay. Do, 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 do. And we now have the... Um, the skill that will help us to get more, uh, to be more efficient with um, busting the iron too, which is nice. Okay. Oh, and our furnaces are now more because we've got that um, spirit of fire or whatever. I'd really like to get the um, the thing. It's like scent of gold, I think is the skill. Um, it gives you increased likelihood to find precious metals when you're mining like this. Um, so that's also, that also would be very nice. Um, again, just to be able to make a bunch of silver and gold in order to sell it because you do get a fair amount of money for it. Um, it's useful for other things later, but legitimately I feel like it's best use until, I'm assuming late game it's useful for a lot of stuff, right? Like you'd assume for like chandeliers or, you know, any of like the, uh, finery that would be in a church. Um, come on. One more. Um, but uh, it also um, is useful just for making money. And, you know, at the end of the day, if we can start making more money, then we can uh, do a whole bunch of other things. Like I had said, you know, we'll want to buy a whole bunch of um, seeds to start doing our wine production so we can make money doing wine. We can, um, you know, buy hops and hop starters in order to start doing our um, uh, beer production. Um, we can... Um, what else? What else can we do? Oh, we can buy bees so we can start beekeeping, right? Money in this game is so hard to come by early on. And once you can make a little bit of it, you can make a lot of it is kind of how I see it. So that's what we're going to aim for. Because cute is what I aim for. All right. Okay, let's get this going. Iron ore extraction commence. All right. And we do sometimes get... Um, it's precious metals from this as well. Do 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 do. Gonna take a nap and get up and do it again. Yeah. I'm all about that nap life, y'all. I think I talked about this in one of the previous episodes, but I'm all about that nap life. So I dig this idea of you get up, do a bunch of work, and you go back to sleep. I'm probably gonna take a nap here in like an hour or two, right? Naps are where it's at. Okay. Work yourself hard. Go take a little nap. Okay. Get up, do it again. Who needs to live on a, a schedule of, you know, 24 hours? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not me. Not the Prootsie. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. All right. Oh, man. We have so much stone up there as well. Uh, I should I should make more stuff for the graveyard, but the graveyard's actually looking pretty good right now. And we have to get it up to, like, what? Like, 200 or something next, I think. So, you know. We don't need to worry that much uh, about that for now. Like, I need to get the church up to, like, 50, I think, and then the graveyard up to, like, 200. Um, what's our current goal for the bishop? Yeah, 50 and 200. So, because our next goal is 200, it's like, I need to get so many bodies in there. I need to get so much stuff going for that that, like, worrying about the little things right now is really less important in terms of for the graveyard. Um... But, uh, you know, after that, I'm sure it's gonna, we're gonna also have to probably spend, like, a whole bunch of money to get the next certificate or whatever that we need in order to get permission. So, you know, it's a whole thing. Uh, Alright, that's a ton of iron that we just got. That's great. Let's head home. Uh, oh, you know what we need? We also need fuel. So I'm gonna sleep. So we'll do one more, and it's gonna be Sunday, which is fine. As long as we make it back before, um, evening, we'll be good. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of charcoal. I always call it charcoal. Coal. We'll mine a bunch of coal. And that'll give us um, some more fuel. Because one of our um, furnaces is completely out of fuel. Uh, so we want to get some more of that. 
Okay. It's just a good idea every time you get iron to also go get a whole bunch of coal. How's our pickaxe doing? Oh, it's doing fine. These steel ones, man, they last forever. It's great. I'm glad that I got the new tools. And they also mine so much faster. It's really worth it. Like, that's a lot of times in games like this, um, one of my first goals. Like, in Stardew, oftentimes, like, um, the first few times I played it at least, all I cared about was upgrading my tools, like, really, really fast. It wasn't until later that I realized that, like, oh, no, 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 get up, get up on that sprinkler game. That's where you want to be for Stardew Valley. Uh, but that's a whole different thing. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good amount of coal, I'd say. You'd think. Um, let's head home. Let's... Fuel this sucker up a little bit. Do, 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 do. Get 100 in there. How are you doing on fuel? You're doing pretty good. But, uh... Let's get you another 100 as well. Okay, and we're going to set you to a raw... Wow! We could just make twice as many at a time. This must be from our ability. So let's do um, half in here. Like 30 in there. And then... Other half over here. Nice. Uh, that'll get us so much iron. Oh, that's great. Okay. Now, we're not going to have a different... Um, what do you call it? A different uh, sermon today. But, oh, I should study these. They'll give me green. This will give me green and red. What about steel? Red. That might be good to study. Silver and gold, green. Let's look at our text real quick. We got, some, we got a little bit of time. I just want to look at what we want to get next. I had mentioned these. Would be really nice. But we're going to need 300 red, 100 green, and 40 blue. I mean, we can make that happen. Hmm. It's tricksy. There's so much I'd like to get done in this game. Uh, well, we got Merchant Day in two days. Just look at how much money we got. We'll hit like five silver before we head there. Uh, get there, so we should be able to buy all the silk that we need, I think. Um, I should get some more bodies. I do need to start just like putting more bodies in the ground is the thing. I need to stop being so picky. I need... If it's got five or, or more points, I should just put it in the ground and be like, let's just live with it, you know? Um... Because, yeah, it's just kind of just being silly. I'm being too picky. We don't have embalming going. I don't have the stuff for embalming. I feel like embalming takes a lot of really high-level things that I don't have access to at the moment, or at least in order to easily embalm. So I think it makes more sense for us to just kind of, you know, skip past it. And Yeah. Anyway. Uh -huh. All right. And we do have a couple dudes we can sell these to as well. I keep forgetting that each of these um, these certificates that we're getting, they're worth a silver each, right? Like, that's not, you know, it's not just boosting the um, uh, the relationship with the vendor, but it's also giving us some money as well. So, like, we're at six silver, and we'll head to town here in a little bit. Actually, let me go put away the sermon. We'll go head to town here in a little bit, and we'll, uh, we'll boost that even a little bit more by um, selling off. Because what, do we have two of these? We have at least one. And we have a burial certificate. Could have sworn we had another one. No, maybe I... Oh, no, I sold them all. I think I sold them all. It's fine. Um, all right. We got some faith. Twelve faith. The question here is... Do I want to keep making these? These things? Or do I want to try and make another... A different sermon? Like, we've got combo prayer is great, because that just gives you more money. Prayer for donations. More money. Um, prayer for excellence. What does that do? What does prayer for repentance do? Let's let's hover over some of these. Um, hold on. Come here. Okay. Uh, it's about sin and forgiveness based on a couple stories from your youth. No idea what that one does. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, what about... What's the prayer for excellence? Chef excellence. Where are you at? Do, 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 this one. Wait, why can we make that? We're not, we don't have that yet. Huh. Um, true words about the blessedness of hard work. Oh, probably gives you a buff to crafting related stuff, I bet. Um, okay. So, what do I got on me right now? Okay, we're good. Let's pop out. 
Do I want to get another body? Or do I just want to head to town? Let's head to town real quick. Let's head to the dead horse. Okay. Let's sell our burial certificate. Okay. And let's take this... Um, this certificate, Blessing of Commerce, and let's give it to the seed lady. Right? Like, I could improve the hop guy. Let's go look at what hops cost, by the way. Curious. Because I could probably... I might be able to start brewing before I even do hop-related stuff, now I think about it. Miller, I'll get so tired without work to do. Um, so. Oh, and he went straight to tier 3. Does it boost them all the way? Is that what it does? So he'll give me high-quality hop seeds. Hop seeds cost, I mean, roughly the same as um, grape seeds. Um, I wonder if I can grow those in the vineyard or if I need to grow them in my... Um, in my other garden. We'll buy four. It's expensive, but this is, you know, for experimentation to see what uh, that's gonna cost us. Let's go sell this thing to Seed Lady down here. Um, do, 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 and see. But we'll see a couple things, right? So A, we're gonna find out what she can sell me here. And if it goes all the way to tier three, then either this thing's bugged or this is a super powerful prayer that everybody should go for like right away in the game. Do it like for a month. Boost your reputation with the fisherman, with the seed people, with the blacksmith, with the merchant, with Clotho. Like get enough of those to do all that and you can just get access to anything that you need. Um, it's pretty great. It's pretty dang great. All right, so here's my question. Do I need to make... Here's what we'll do. We'll go to the vineyard first and see if I can use these at the vineyard. If I can use them at the vineyard, then then what, what'll happen is I'll turn half of the vineyard into... Um, whoop. Uh, I'll turn half of the vineyard into um, hops and half of it into grapes is what we'll do. Um, if I can't do it up here, which is entirely possible, then I need to um, take a section of my garden down below and um, turn that into um, hops. You can plant them here. Okay, awesome. Um, well, for now, let's just go ahead and do it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, right? We, we got them for experimentation purposes anyways. Um, it's not really a huge deal. I do want to start building this out, but heck, if we can start getting hops, what's it gonna take us to get brewing going 100 points here fermentation barrels we're going to need as part of the brewing i'd imagine we can make a mug of beer right and then here you can make berry ferment and apple ferment Ooh, and then you can make alcohol distill distillations and then what does this do you like to drink good alcohol especially wine your hangover depends on the alcohol you've drank moreover all alcohol you make has a better quality uh okay so that'll make our um wine better okay um, and being able to make apple ferment and berry ferment could be really good as a use of the stuff that we grow in our little garden. So maybe we want to focus a lot on this stuff too. I mean, this is all pretty cheap in terms of, I mean, other than green points, um, it doesn't cost a lot of the energy that we'll be using on other stuff. There's just too much to do in this game, y'all. There's just too dang much. I'm just going to go ahead and fix these just because I'm here. Might as well. Um... Wow, okay. Man, oh man. I just don't know, it's just, again, I'm at that point where I'm like, I don't know what I want to spend my time on. I don't want to know what I want to spend my energy on. I gotta think on it, man. There's too much to do. Oh boy. I think that actually, that gives me a good excuse to um, stop recording for this session. Um, I'll take a little bit of time to think about where I want to go next. Because I also want to make sure that I'm varying things up enough so you guys aren't seeing the same things over and over again every episode. And I feel like we've been doing that lately. We've been um, trying, I've been mixing things up, right? We did a little bit of the stuff with the berries and everything over here. We've been working on farming related stuff. We've worked on um, the graveyard, working on the church. Um, you know, so we've been doing a lot of that. 
Uh, I think next uh, recording session, one thing I would really like to do is work on getting yet another different, um, uh, what do you call it? A uh, different prayer. Uh, we might do that. We really, 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 really want this. Ziga uh, Ziga and this. Both of these would be just incredible. Um, as well as all this stuff. I mean, being able to make these monuments as well would be really nice. Those are very, they're going to be expensive to make as well. So that's the other thing I always have to remind myself is that like sometimes I need to take a step back and go, don't go for the thing that you really, really want. Go for the thing that's going to help you get to the thing you really want. Steel weapons would be nice. That'd be really nice. Ooh, but you know what we can do next time that'll be a good use of our time is we can also work on um, the stuff with a uh, snake. We can try, we can make the key. Um... We should have enough faith. Yeah, yeah, we can make the key with the blueprint and everything like that. We can give that to Snake, and then we can move forward with that stuff as well. So that could be a good use of our time, too. So, checklist. What are the things that we want to get started? Um, a, B, domestication. B, winemaking. C, brewing. Um, D, jewel crafting. Um, what else? What else? Ooh, I want to get some gems. Um... Uh, writing related bonuses like I would love to get the perk writer and playwright just to increase the quality of the stuff that I make um, Obviously superpower of faith these things to improve our um, Church and then also I'd like to start messing with embalming. It's just there's so much y'all There is so much but some of this stuff is so good, too um, It's just that we're not anywhere near the level of being able to get the stuff that we need in order to make a lot of this embalming happen You need like I forget what it is like glue or something like that. It's like a glue solution glue injection, right? I would love to be able to make those but like there's an ingredient to it that like I feel like you can't get until like way way later down the line So I kind of get like stuck behind there, but maybe I could buy it from Clotho Maybe I could buy it from Clotho if I improve our relationship with her hmm Thoughts, y'all. Thoughts. Anyway, y'all, with that, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a like. Give a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. My name has been Price, and I will see y'all next time. Boy, oh boy, that was a yawn. Oh, it snuck up on me.